welcome. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Exclusive. You are my great people, my great listeners. Uh, I, when I first saw this headline, I was so very surprised and I was like, ah, uh, 2023, uh, 2023 election. Uh, they said uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu wins in court. Uh, wins over what? Mm, that is what we're going to pause. That is what we're going to talk about. What has he won over? You know, say Bola Ahmed won in court. Uh, what do you win? Did he win murder? Or rather, has the election been concluded? Uh, what election is that? Because we are not in 2023 as yet. We are still in um, 2022. So, Tinumbu wins in court. Mm, that is what we are seeing here as a, a party headline. A federal high court in Abuja has, you know, struck a... Okay, struck out a request and um, seeking to nullify uh, the candidacy of uh, Ashiwaju uh, Bola Ahmed Thinubu and um, mm, but he won't okay let me go again a federal high court in Abuja has struck out a request seeking to nullify the candidature yeah candidacy of Bola Ahmed Thinubu for 2023 election the Action People's Party uh, which is APP uh, dragged uh, the All Progressives uh, Congress APC presidential flag bearer to court. In the suit, uh, number FHC slash uh, UMS slash CS slash 124 slash 2022 joined the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, as the first uh, defendant. Uh, the former legal uh, governor is the second defendant, and the ruling APC, the third defendant, the plaintiff, uh, argued that Tinubu allegedly submitted the uh, first uh, defendant false information in his form EC29. Okay, and he said uh, he failed to include his uh, primary and uh, secondary education in his uh, form, uh, which is CF001 of 1999 Constitution. Submitted ahead of uh, the gubernatorial election, the All uh, People's Party. Cited Section 29 of the Electoral Act 2022 and uh, 131 of the 1999 Nigerian Constitution. APC Council Babatude Ogala filed a, not a notice of a pre pre uh, preliminary objection, insisting the suit was a statute, a bed, and that the APP had no uh, locus standing. Our Progressive Congress APC campaign spokesperson, Bayo Ononuga, said the plaintiff was not in court when the matter came up with and um, before the Justice uh, Emeka Umwete. Uh, Justice Umwete subsequently struck out the case for lack of a diligent uh, prosecution. And that's uh, what Onanuga has just said, okay? Now, before you take somebody to court, you know, there must be a basis. And uh, before a judge justice could be made, or verdict could be made, there must be a basis. Now, there is no basis. There are no basis. There are no contention. There are no... Uh, okay, there is a plaintiff. The defendant is available. There is no advocacy. Now, where is the submission? Now, if they tell somebody they are your submission, your uh, your opinion does not count, the person will be angry, might be angry. But this is cause. No, justice for one, justice for all. That is what it is. If Nigeria is like this, and uh, follow due processes, follow the Constitution vividly, I will move places. I'm not in support of Tinubu. I'm not in support of uh, the plaintiff. I'm not in support of Atiku. Rather, am I in support of any politician? But what I believe is that I support good governance, good deed, good will. Uh, that is what I support. It's not by your caliber. It's not by when you started politics. It is not by when you were created. It's not by when you were born. It is not by when were you, you know, uh, coming from. Or when when you when did you come through? And like somebody who was singing was telling me, ah, okwa your name It simply means that I don't enter a joyful uh, vehicle and I'm moving through. But I told the person, well, you might have entered since 2001. Me, I'm just entering 2022. So same as okwa You bought your Mercedes Mercedes Benz in uh, 1990. Now another person buys his own 2022 Benz is Benz, but if there is a latest and there is a latest, if there is another latest that is gonna come after 2022, it's still the latest to the best. But projection, you know, differs. 
you know, facility differs, interior differs, the engine differs, this, uh, uh, the, uh, they call some, uh, something, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, propelling, you understand? The way the car will propel, you know, will be different from that of uh, 1991. Uh, the bends of uh, 2022 is different from the bends of 2020 or thereabouts. But notwithstanding, bends is bends, acquire anymore, acquire anymore, the day you enter, the day you enter. So if there is a plaintiff, there is a defendant. And uh, if justice is for one and justice should be circulated and justice as it is, is for all. Now, commentary. You know, people want to know what, you know, Tinobu won in court. Because Bola Ahmed Tinobu wins in court over what? Now I've read what I know and what I saw and what it is. But let's, you know, listen to another comment or comment from people so that we will get different side of their stories. There are so many guests, you know, saying whatever they want to say. You can say whatever you want to say. Everybody is entitled to his or opinion. Now, they said victory for the winning team. Tinubu is the nice president. God has spoken well. Some say it may be true. Some of say not God with the big uh, G, but God with the small letter G. Oh, my God. So, what uh, Mark does that make? Tinubu is the winner any day, any time. Well, hope you will not regret it, Sha. Oh, somebody is even asking. Uh, someone says, I think we always uh, waste our precious time on um, profitable venture. That's why our country is lacking behind in everything. You lose time, money, and also resources pursuing nonsense. Uh, well, uh, to answer this person, Akonde Sikiru is one saying that, he said, I think we always waste our precious time on unprofitable venture that's and that's why our country is lacking behind in everything uh we lose time we lose money and uh, resources portion nonsense well the nonsense is what i want to bring out as either a pronoun verb or adjective uh, if you remove none from nonsense uh, there is still sense so in every nonsense anybody's saying there is a sense and it's in every rubbish there's a refurbish but notwithstanding god's plan is a plan if the number has won Monica Bao Lori Rayo. So I am commending Tinubu if you had won on that. But if there is a plaintiff, there is a defendant. Or oh, yes, and the defendant is ready. The plaintiff wasn't ready, wasn't available. Now, according to what I read earlier, uh, which says uh, the 2023 election, Bernard Tinubu wins in court. Uh, it is uh, a court in a, a federal court, and uh, it is a federal high court in Abuja that struck out a request seeking to nullify the candidature of Bala Ahmed for the 2023 election. Now, the Action People's Party, APP, dragged the All Progressives, the Congress APC presidential flag bearer to court. Now, the suit number FHC slash UM slash CS slash 124 slash 2022 joined the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, as the first uh, defendant. Well, at this one, I'm going to draw the cutting. I'd like you to share your views in the comment section. So let's keep updated. This is Independent TV 7.